Hello, everybody, and welcome to the Cheryl Technology Channel. My name is Chris, and I'm your host today. And today's going to be a little bit different than what I normally do. Um, there's no video, none of that junk. Um, today is just going to be me speaking to y'all. Um, today, I really want to um, emphasize that you are loved and that you can do anything. So in this video, that's what it's about. So I, I decided to make a video because I was struggling. I've been struggling with this particular application now for about three days, two, three days. And every time I think I've got it, I, I hit a brick wall every time. I have tried everything. I have watched five, six videos, three or four times each. And one of them's like 40 something minutes. And I'm starting to learn the commands. So what I'm talking about is Docker. So what keeps happening is I delete all of the containers. I delete all the networks except for the three that it can, that it builds in the beginning. And for some reason, even though the containers are gone, I keep I keep trying to add them to my network that I made. It's called a Mac VLAN. And what it does is it bridges it like it's going directly to your switch. So it gets an IP address from the DHCP server for the network so on and so forth. The problem I keep having is every time I try to do something, I keep hitting this brick wall. And now I'm going to just tell you all in IT, this happens a lot. There are times when you will, in IT, when you will, um, you will work and work and work and work. And there's just some things that you just can't figure out right at the moment. So this is where I want y'all to really listen carefully because it is things that I've had to work through. And so, for instance, when I first started my job, um, I started at a time when I just lost my dad. Um, he, he had only been dead like a month. And, I, you know, at that time, I thought that I was going to be able to step into this role and it was going to be easy. What I found out it's the hardest thing I've ever done, ever, ever, ever. I've never done anything so hard in my life. I pushed up against the walls. I beat my head against the wall. I I gave up four or five times, 25,000 times. I quit the job 25,000 times in my head, as my wife just said. So she should come over here, too, and do this video with me because she knows a lot about this stuff. And I complained and griped and moaned and whined forever and ever and ever. And it wasn't until I finally decided one day that I was going to push a little bit. That I was going to, I'm like, okay, I, I think I can do this. I think I'm, a lot of the concepts I know already. So that must mean that I can do it. And what I found out was that, no, that's not always true either. Just because you think you can doesn't mean you can. <laughs> now, the, the, the lead step into doing something is believing that you can. But that doesn't mean that it's going to be easy for you. And what I found was there was a lot of the concepts that they had, because the place I work, they have a lot of unique stuff. It's proprietary. A lot of it's unique to them. Nobody else uses it or at least the way that they use it. And and so that's kind of why I, you know, I thought to myself, you know, I, I got to be able to do this. I'm like, Lord, if, if there's anything that I can do, the first step was to quit complaining. After I quit complaining, things got easier. So I will tell you my daily routine now versus back then. So now I wake up, I pray every morning, for about 15, 20 minutes, depending on what I'm praying about. It, it uh, takes about 10, 15 minutes. I listen to scripture every morning. I have a Bible app on my phone and I listen to it. And and I what I have found is that if you do that thing, if you do that and you commit it all to him and you say, hey, so see, what I'm getting at is that I don't trust myself with information anymore. I don't because I'm unreliable. I'm a human. Humans are unreliable. Humans are deceiving and deceptive. Humans are flawed. God is not flawed. So I want him to impart a piece of himself into me, which he already did when I got saved. But what I'm saying is that if you truly want to take your life to the next level, 
I'm going to tell you things that most people are not going to say to you. Most people are going to say, oh, well, you can do it all by yourself. And I'm going to tell you, no, you can't. There, You can only get, there are people who are self-made millionaires. They are not self-made. Somebody helped them to get there. You never can do it by yourself. Remember that. In in my job now, I had help from one. There was one person that stands out to me that helped me more than anybody else. He is a phenomenal person, and and I don't know if he's going to watch this video or not. I don't know if he's subscribed to my channel. I I really don't know. But Chris Jones, bro, you are an incredible human being, and he is the one that helped me to get as far as I have. He he really laid a foundation in me in the beginning that kind of showed me the way that things were run there and the way that things were done. And now I have an extremely good grasp of our infrastructure. I have a good grasp of how things work and how we use things. And, and it has made it a lot easier because now I can teach other people how. And, and so that's kind of what this video is about, is really showing you that although it's going to be hard, if you keep pushing forward, no matter how hard it gets, no matter how how seemingly impossible it is, remember, there is always hope with Christ. With him, you can never go wrong. Believe me when I say this, my son is a hardcore atheist. My son Adam, my oldest son, and here's what I've found, is that when I present him with evidence, he ignores it. God is real. It is evident. It is obvious by the evidence. I am not a, I'm a faith-based person, but I am also an evidence-based person. I love science. I love Jesus, but I love science too. And you can love both. And so I really, I really want to explain to y'all how this, how I got to where I am. The first thing was I stopped complaining. Now, does that mean I don't complain occasionally? Oh yeah, I still do it. Lord, forgive me. I do it all the time, but I'm trying to get better. And I'm learning that as I get away from complaining and more learning, I have learned that when I do that, it changes my mindset. It changes where I'm at. Now, I am going to tell you, Docker is kicking my rear end. I don't know why it's so complicated to me. It, it's just I can't visualize it yet for some reason. But I am working on it, and, and I understand a lot about it now, but I've ran into a problem now. And I've got a video coming on all this um, about Docker and, and the infrastructure and how it works and all that stuff once I fully understand it. Because I, like, I don't like giving people information if I don't fully know how to do it myself. But it basically it is a – you have your, your physical hardware, and then on top of that you have – an OS, an operating system. So the way it was explained to me is you have an operating system and it divides the operating system up rather than the hardware, which just can't doesn't make sense to me at all. But, I mean, I, I don't know. You're running a daemon or a demon or daemon rather than running a virtual machine on a piece of hardware and dividing the hardware. You're running a service on the operating system is basically the way I understand it. Um, so heed my warning, y'all. If there is something that you are struggling to, go, to grasp and something that is very hard for you to understand, there is always hope, So everybody. There is always hope. There is always some way to learn it. You may not be learning it the right way, the way that you learn. You need to take a different route or go a different way. Maybe you need to spend some time in prayer and ask God what he wants you to do. But I'm telling you that I am in the field that I'm supposed to be in. I love it. And I'm very good at what I do. Does that mean I always get it right? No, I don't. Does that mean I don't fail? I fail all the time. I make mistakes all the time. But what I learn is as I, the one thing that you can't do, if you're, you're going to fail, if you don't move forward, if you don't do something, you're already failing. You're a failure already. But if you try and you make mistakes, and you learn from your mistakes, eventually you will learn something. Heed me when I hear my warning when I say this. Keep moving forward. 
Don't look back at the past. The past brings nothing but the past. The future is where you need to go. Live in the moment. Do as much as you can today and let tomorrow and yesterday worry about itself. And that is all I have for y'all. Keep moving forward. Thank y'all for watching. Like, comment, subscribe. And remember, the Lord loves you so very much. And so do I, everybody. I love you. And until next time, my name is Chris, and I'm the host of the Cheryl Technology Channel. And until next time, peace, everybody.